This is so exciting. I need to know all about MediaTek's new Dimensity 9400 chipset and how it's enabling Gen AI at the edge. Ah, I'm glad you asked. We're very excited about this one. So am I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Dimensity 9400 just announced. Um, it's our latest, now fourth generation mobile flagship SoC. Yay. Some really exciting new features that we're enabling on the device. First and foremost, um, Dimensity 9400, it's the second generation of what we call our all big core architecture. Uh, yes. or last year, I think we took a brave, unique step of introducing an all big core CPU architecture that was quite unique and revolutionary right. uh, in the industry. We see, cool. we see others doing similar things now, but we proved, I think, last year that you could execute an efficient mobile SLC only adopting the big cores, so the so-called Cortex-X mm -hmm. and Cortex-A7 um, cores from, from ARM, and not using the little cores, and still manage the power consumption effectively, right. but push the performance envelope for, for computing. We've got a second generation this time. Of course, we're adopting the latest IP from ARM, so the new Cortex-X925 high-end uh, X-Core to kind of push this, this performance envelope for, for computing forward. You mentioned Gen AI, and that's mm -hmm. of course an important uh, focus for us. So we have continued to push the envelope in terms of the on-chip capability to run Gen AI models on the edge, more computational power, the ability to support different modes, different kind of use cases, different types of, of models. So I think we'll continue to see that push the ecosystem of Gen AI applications by OEMs and, and developers yeah, um, definitely. forward. And then a few other points that I'd like to make. One. Of course, gaming is a, a key feature again. So we've adopted the latest ARM Immortalis 925 GPU that pushes the gaming performance, both in terms of peak performance and sustained performance forward, but also introduces new features. So last year, we also introduced hardware ray tracing capability. And it looks so good. <laughs> I know, it makes everything so much more realistic. This year, um, we're continuing to push that by introducing ray tracing OMM, opacity micro map. But basically, that's just a term that says it's further enhancing how light and reflections and Ooh. images are projected. So again, it's going to get even more realistic oh, going, wow. going forward. Oh, wow, I can't wait so, to see that. Very important. And it's really kind of moving us towards that desktop gaming capability, but, but on mobile. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, connectivity is another important feature. Um, we've added a few enhancements this cycle, so we're upgrading the 5G to the latest release 17 5G modem, so again, pushing the modem features forward, and introducing a new 4 nanometer um, chipset for... Uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, which will be, be important. Oh, cool. Both in terms of power consumption and, and performance. And perhaps most significant that I, I forgot to mention is the new SOC is, ex is implemented in TSMC's 3 nanometer technology, so so-called N3E or the second generation of their 3 nanometer process. So the most advanced silicon fabrication process that's available. That, of course, is going to help with performance mm -hmm. and, and power consumption for the, the overall platform. So pretty exciting time with the, the Dimensity 9400 coming Yeah, out. it's very exciting. Well, I can't wait to see all the devices that the Dimensity 9400 chipset is going to be in. I, I'm very excited to get my hands on those. There's going to be a few coming out pretty quickly, so we'll, we'll see them soon. Awesome.